Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're here with some agrarian skies. Do do do. I want like some creepy music there. I don't know. This is going to be a replacement series of our sky factory since we lost the world. And I felt that it's a good replacement. It's a good way to go to something where we follow more of an objective base server. So agrarian skies, if you don't know it, revolves all around this. Right clicking it. It has been a horrible 10 years. Code wizards meddled in the balance of nature and released hordes of monsters from other dimensions on an unsuspecting world. Not satisfied with just destroying the human life, the monsters rampaged across the world eating everything they could find and leaving nothing in their wake but empty void. The great mage trio Dusk, Vizwi, and Scott approached you with an offer. They had just enough power to protect your home and a small amount of land from the final devastation. In return for their protection, you agreed to collect the materials and resources the creators would need to remake the world once the hordes retreated back to the Hell Realms. The Great Trio cast their spell to protect you, while the Magician Way of Flowing Time forced the evil armies into submission and ordered them back to their dimensions. Upon waking up, you find that the creators, the Jaded One, and the Cute One have left a small amount of supplies to get you started. They apologize for not being able to give you more. If you complete the tasks assigned, you will receive more rewards to help you in your mission. It is up to you to recreate the world, to provide a home for the poor lonely creatures left alone and homeless, to repopulate the planet. To this end, the Jaded One has compiled a list of the many items and fluids that will be needed. This book will magically update your progress as you complete quests and may at times have new quests added if she sees she missed a requirement. To start, punch tree, get wood. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, guys. Agrarian Skies is so cool because you can follow these quest books. And we got nine quest things. You can see each of these have a bunch of different things to go. So, like, this is just the first one. We want to use the book. You can see we click here. And this will give us our first quest. So, then we can go down either one of these branches. But you got to use these to unlock other ones. So, let's start with using the book. So, this book is a new invention from v or VSWE, the Scott Wars, and the Lord Dusk. Ducks. You may be wondering how to use this book. On the off chance that you have no idea what you are doing, this small, or this very small series of quests will give you a few guidelines. First, if you right click any page, you will go to the previous page slash menu. If a quest is dark, it is locked and you will be, you will need to complete one or more quests to unlock the quest. In the first menu of this book, no, uh, you should have noticed several numbered sets of quests. For some, uh, some of which are locked. You will have to complete quests found in a different set to unlock new sets of quests. There are two types of tasks and two ways to submit quests for completion. The first type of quest will be, uh, the first type of quest is the crafting quest. This quest will tell you to craft a specific item or, uh, craft a specific item or block. Once you craft the required item in a crafting grid, the block will automatically, or will update the quest completion. So here, crafting task, Craft a wooden plank, that needs one, and we get a reward. So let's see, what do we get? We get materials in you, world domination, basic processing, ooh, a rain muffler, some birch wood, hopper, and stuff. So let's grab that, we'll grab a few of those, and a sapling. And if we come out here, there is a dirt block waiting for us right here. Boom. Now let's get rid of this thing. I do not believe there is vein miner on here, so... We're going to have to cut it down ourselves, but that's okay. Uh, let's leave that for now because we may need a crook and stuff. You never know. So there we go. Let's see. 100% rewards. Claim reward. I love that noise. All right. So you guys now see we've got a stone or a pick of splintered dreams. It's a stone bound thalmic using mining level stone and its skill levels clumsy. And you can see that it's got some other details from it. It's Tinker's Construct, but very cool. So that's our first endeavor also in food, which should be very helpful. So our quest book then adds, let's see, manual completion. The second type of quest is the consume quest. You will not get the items back after turning them in. They vanish in the stomach of the giant void monster, thereby preventing from 
um, eating you alive. Consume quests can be completed by collecting the required items required and click the manual submit button. Uh, at the bottom right of the book, under the quest requirements. Manual submit, 100%, and we get a quest delivery system. Perfect. What is this? The QDS. The final way of turning quests is the quest delivery system. This block will require you to send the item through a hopper or a duct attached to the block. AE buses can also send items to the delivery system. Before you send items to the system, you will need to key the system to the quest. Do so by right click, or do so by selecting a select task button in the lower right of the task page, then right click the quest delivery system. Uh, in uh, blah, 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 blah. right click the quest delivery system with the block, you should see a message in chat saying the quest has now been assigned to the system. Now place the hopper on top of the block and place the required items in the hopper. The QDS will void all the extra items not needed for quests. Turn in uh, this is the only way to turn in quests that require fluids. You can have multiple QDS assigned to the different mods. Part of the quest is avail or ability to earn extra lives. And you can combine heart pieces into full hearts. Right clicking with one heart will add one life to your total. So use the hopper from the starter chest to submit a plank through the QDS system. Then click the second task that pops up to the left, no help given, and give the hopper back in using manual submit. So feed the QDS, alright, select task, then let's place the QDS down, right click it, then you currently have not bound a quest, okay. Oh, it's a manual submit. No help given, alright, select task. Place that on top. And it wants the, oh, that's weird. Let us manual submit it. Manual submit and claim reward. So this time we got a full heart and a reward bag. It's a basic reward bag, but if we right click this, boom, we have a third heart. Awesome. That means we have another life. And basically this world revolves on lives and if you die, well you lose one and it's a hardcore so eventually you'll run out of lives and you'll lose the world. So it's a cool twist on it that you can actually earn lives. And then in the reward bag we got, what is that, blackberry juice and cherry juice. Nice. So that's some more juices for us to drink slash eat. Very cool. So back into the quest book, let's see what we got in the beginning. And what is this, the librarian? We need a book by okay, so let's go to in the beginning you can see that now I'm not gonna read all this I'm just gonna go here and see what we need So we're gonna need a crafting station a chest a part builder a tool station a stencil table an oak barrel and a crook So let's start by making ourselves a Nice crafting station that should activate this here, right? Perfect and we can place this down right there and we can go simply um, Actually, we need to get some more wood from out here so let's go up here, and we're going to cut down some more wood. So I have my plan here is to kind of go quickly through all these beginning grindy things, because you know what? It's boring, and I don't want to have to do all this every five seconds on camera with you guys. So like I said, my my um, idea here is I'm going to do a lot of these crafting for quests off camera, and we'll just speed through it pretty fast on video which is probably the best option because you guys probably don't want to watch me crafting like a crook a barrel and all these other things as well so let me finish up this quest let me get everything we need and i'll be right back all right time to cut down our last tree and we should be good to fill in the quest so if you guys don't remember from sky factory the Crook is a nice little addition that we can use on leaves to double our chance of dropping some materials, which is very, very cool. So if we place this here, you can see, ah, there we go. But uh, it doubles our chance of dropping saplings, which is great. And they don't have a ton of durability, but they're very nice. And you guys can see that we got ourselves a silkworm, which is great for just in the future from now. But let's go here, let's go here, like that. And let's make that, wait a second, we need a chest, not a crafting table. Boom. And now, we should be good to open up our quest book and go like this. So let's go, um, we've got an Axe of Despair or Pan of Destiny. Probably, hmm. Let's go like that. 
All right, so we got our quarter heart. Let's place that in here for now. Uh, let's see, what is this? A basic reward bag? We got that. What is that? A rain muffler. All right, we already had one of those right there. Uh, we got our cherry juice and stuff. So let's place this stuff out and down. So let's head over here actually with it. Um, the crafting station. I want to throw it back here on these. So I'm gonna actually remove all these annoying extra little fancy redstone brick strips and whatnot real quick and I'll be back once everything's flat and we can start building outside. Okay, so over here I cleared it out and I'm planning on doing a small little storage system going up on either side and then just our crafty tables there. Cool. Then we're gonna go quest book. Let's see, now we need smooth as silk. So this is going to be our next step. We need a sieve, a fishing rod, a wooden hammer, and a bed. So that's where this guy, the silkworm, comes in handy. Uh, I actually want to place these things back into here for now, though. Um, the barrel. Well, we'll place barrels over here. Mm, we'll do it in the house for right now. And let's bone meal up this guy. Perfect. And let's get another crook as well oops the crafting table is out here we're gonna get another crook that means we need another one of these and boom let us cut down this guy once again and i'm going to start working at getting all of this so i'm actually going to hmm why did i i don't know why i didn't infest these leaves but that's okay I'm going to work at getting all this. Let's cut down the tree in just a second. Let's see. There we go. That food, though. Then we're going to break this guy. Uh, it doesn't look like the whole thing comes down with it. I was kind of hoping it would. Okay. Boom. Boom. And apparently, if you look underneath here, ah, uh, yes, an iron chest with seven, or a dirt chest with seven more dirt in it, which is cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to place down a sapling. We are going to place this guy. Come on. There you go. And we are going to bone me, or uh, we're going to infest these leaves and let it sit. And you guys know what infesting the leaves does, so I'm not really going to explain it, but uh, for people who don't, basically, what it does is it goes out and it's going to turn the wheat leaves white and then they're going to drop just little pieces of string with them, which is very cool. Now, we have these nine oak saplings, but we also have the seven extra wood. So what I'm thinking we do is we start an area right here, build it out and just make that into a smaller little um, like a secondary little kind of farm so I am going to throw all these things in here and I'm gonna start building out this way and I'll be back in just a second once we have a nice little platform going here we go nice little five dirt platform we can get some trees going on these. So let's grab our other stack of bone meal. Oh wow, we've got more than one other stack. Perfect. And really we gotta go just sieve all of this and then we're gonna start th throwing it into the, into the sieve once we have, or into a, um, I mean crook all this, throw it into a barrel and start getting some more dirt. But uh, we need another crook. And we are going to need to make ourselves a iron thing, or um, the sieve, and I believe some other things in here. But we should be good with that in just a minute. But like I said, these are the kind of things that I want to do off camera and not grind on camera. So I'm going to do this real quickly off camera, and I'll be back once I'm done and got a good amount of wood going. We've got this tree ready to come down with it. Nice. We're getting this wood and everything. This is great, though, because you know what? We, we've we needed these, and I'm at the point I'm about probably five or six world days in. Keep on going, just doing that grind, and it's good to see that we're getting progress done here. So we're about to be able to complete another quest in a minute once we get a bed and some other things. We're probably also going to have to throw another guy in here waiting to um, make us some more string. 
because usually this is not enough string, but I don't know. I think it's nine string per, so we're gonna need actually a little bit more. Yeah, so we'll probably have to put another one in here, but we've got five this time, so we should be good. Let's throw an oak sapling. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on. There you go. That is one weirdly shaped tree. Let's throw these guys on here and let's wait for that as well. But let's see what we can make with what we have. So if we go like that, that's one, two, three. We can make ourselves our first thing, the bed. We can go like that and like that. Perfect. And now we are going to need, let's see, where's our QDS? Or actually our quest book. Let's see, let's go back. We are here, so we've got that. Oh, a wood hammer as well. We can make one of those by going like this. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, a wood hammer. And let's see, what else do we need? A fishing rod. We can make one of those. Boom, 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 fishing rod. And then finally, we need one of these to make a silk mesh. And that's where we are, we're not quite ready for the next part. But let's clean up in here then. Uh, perfect, I actually started it. Let's get that. Um, let's see, this barrel. Let's get our first piece of dirt from this barrel, just right there, we'll let that go. And I kind of want to clear out our inventory real quickly. Put that there and that there. We need just a second one of those. And let me, yeah, let's crook this down. So I'm gonna wait for that tree to kind of colonize and I'll be back once I have some more to show you guys. And boom, there we go. Perfect. And let's place this guy, hmm. We'll place this guy right here. Let's get rid of these. They are just big and clunky. Get rid of that one. Then let's accept the reward once we place them down in the quest delivery book. And let's see. Boom. Or quest book. Whatever you want to call her. Boom, boom, boom. And there we go. And what I'm kind of envisioning is that we turn this guy here into kind of a mob trap soon in the next couple episodes once we have some more material. But let's see. Let's go to quest book. Let's pick reward. Hmm. Seeds. Oh, our first stone as well. Okay. So this is where this guy comes in use. Let's grab this. Now we're going to have to go like this. Oh, wow. We got our first stone from that very quickly. 11. Let's see, 2. And nice stone and everything. So let's place that in there. We'll place that there, that there. And we're gonna have to set up a small little farm in the future. But let's see, let's try to do one more quest for today. Let's look at the quest and actually let's hop into bed real quickly because let's not die from the darkness. Hmm, quest book, let's see, fishing, smelting, stone, dust in the wind, be resourceful. What is this? Turn iron, iron ore gravel. Hmm, or fishing trip. All right, we don't really have this yet. We need one fish, be resourceful. So uh, one, two, three, that's not too bad to make. You get a lot back from that. So let's do this one. We're gonna need one, two, three, Four stone. So let's see. Do we have any more dirt? No. So let me get some more dirt out of this guy. And I'll be right back once we're good. Here we go. And we are going to just get the rest of this a little bit. Nice. Took a lot of trees to get here. Those guys have been growing for a while. Oh, there's another one actually. And... So did we get a seed from that? We did. Oh, I got 19 more there. I didn't even realize that. I was wondering. I thought I had more, and then all of a sudden I look at my inventory, and it's just not there. I was very confused for some time. Okay. So now we're going to take one, two, three. 
We're going to take one, two, three. Then we're going to go one, two. Then we are going to go one. And we are good for manual submission. Claim reward. Let's go one. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If my ho if it hollers, let it go. My mother told me to pick the very best one, and you are it. Claim reward. We got a pick gap mish fortune. Uh -huh. Ooh, that's not too bad of a pick. It's just misfortune-ish. And um, let's place. Let's place. Let's see. We got those there. Dust gravel that we got our basic reward bag what do we get a lie the cake is a lie let's place that there for now that there place this here and i want to just get some farms going and whatnot we'll probably end up doing that off camera because we're getting to a good wrap up point for today our uh, next time we'll probably end up finishing some more of these quests and we should be good to go in just a little bit. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please leave a rating? Let me know how I did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.